everyone, welcome back to my sewing room. Today I would like to talk about automatic needle threaders. The first time I encountered one of these gadgets was when I got this sewing machine. After I figured out how to use it, I thought, wow, automatic needle threaders are really fiddly and tedious. As soon as I got used to it, it stopped working. Then I went back to the old way and I thought, wow, this way is really fiddly and tedious too. So I decided to investigate the problem and develop a repair. Let's take a look at how an automatic needle threader works so you can learn how to use it or repair it. Automatic needle threaders rely on a small crochet hook like mechanism that passes through the eye of the needle, catches the thread, and pulls a loop back through. For this machine, I need to make sure that the needle is in the upmost position, which means that the hash mark on the hand wheel should be at the 12 o'clock position. The next thing you need to do is wrap the thread around this elbow-shaped bracket while lowering the lever. This bracket keeps the thread taut so the hook can grab it, and the lever lowers the mechanism so it meets the needle. Wrap the thread around the bracket, lower the lever, and when the unit meets the needle, pass the thread into the little cage, release the lever, and a nice loop will be pulled through your needle. Let's take a look at that again. Wrap the thread around the bracket, lower the lever, bring the tail of your thread through the cage, release and there's a nice loop that you can pull through. Now the needle is threaded. Because these devices rely on the hook and the eye of the needle meeting up perfectly, several things can go wrong. If your needle isn't installed properly or isn't raised completely, the system won't work. You may also have a problem with certain needle and thread combinations. However, your needle threader may also be bent. The hook itself is very fragile and can be jarred easily. If this happens, the hook won't pass through the eye of the needle. Instead, it will be pushed to either side, which bends it further and you won't be able to thread your needle. If that happens, you may notice a metallic popping noise or you may feel that the lever doesn't glide as smoothly as it used to. Fortunately, you can fix this problem without making a trip to the repair shop. I have found that the best tool is a seam ripper. You can just gently nudge the hook back into place. You could also use a small screwdriver. Lower the lever and just gently push the hook so it passes through the eye of the needle once again. This is a nice and effective quick fix. Just make sure you know which way the hook is bent so you can make the correct adjustment. Now you should be able to thread your machine quickly and easily. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.